Hello, in this lecture, we will define limited life. According to Fundamental Accounting Principles, Wild 22nd Edition, the definition of limited life is length of time an asset will be productively used in the operations of a business, also called service life or useful life. When we're talking about the limited life or the service life or the useful life, we are talking about generally property, plant, and equipment and thinking about how long that property, plant, and equipment will be useful to the business, helping to achieve the business goal, that business goal to generate revenue. For example, our property, plant, and equipment in this example is a tank and that's going to help us to generate revenue in some way in the future and therefore we will put that on the books as property, plant, and equipment. So the cost of the tank is $257,500. We then need to determine how much that tank will go down by in accordance with the limited life. Limited life, how many years will we have this for? How will we then allocate the cost over that time period depreciating in an appropriate way in relation to the use of that tank in accordance with the matching principle? In order to do that, the one way is the straight line method to calculate this using the limited life within that calculation. Let's take a look at that. We've got the cost of the tank, $257,500. We're going to take out the salvage value. That's what we believe it will be used for, or that's what it will be valued at, at the end of the limited life. That will give us the $237,500. Then we're going to take that limited life, four years, meaning that's how long we believe that the life of this property, plant, and equipment will be useful to us in helping us to generate revenue. At the end of that time period, we believe we'll have to sell it or it will have a value, a salvage value of 20000 That means we're going to depreciate 59375 for the limited life each year. So that means we're going to depreciate the 59375 each year for the limited life of four years meaning that we will have total accumulated depreciation at the end of the limited life of 237500 leaving us with a book value equal to the salvage value of 20000 at the end of the limited life. 